Welcome guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Michael Barlow from the Werribee Football Club, player, assistant coach, community role, I do it all. But there is a man with a bigger profile than I at the Werribee Football Club and here he is, the champion of Werribee already, Mark Williams. He doesn't need much of an introduction, I'll give him a really quick one. 2004, Port Adelaide Premiership coach, how good was that? Hold the tie. Hold the tie, up you go. That's a, it goes down in history for that part. So Mark Williams, now the current Werribee coach, and what he's doing with me today is going to take the kids, the Oz kickers, the junior footballers at the moment who are struggling with isolation and not had access to everyday life. Some drills you can do in pairs or on your own, in the comfort of your own home or in your backyard. So Choco is in charge, but before we get to you framing what we're going to do today, three quick questions. One word answers. Best player you ever coached? Uh, Gavin Wanganeen. Gavin Wanganeen. Uh, who was the biggest rat, biggest rat bag that you ever coached? Wow, well, he was uh, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe let's say Peter Burgoyne. Peter Burgoyne, very good. So, but one of the great success stories of Mark Williams as well, Peter Burgoyne. And finally, what's the most goals and possessions you've ever had in an AFL VFL match when you used to play that's a while ago. Oh, I don't like to brag about that, Mike. <laughs> but now you've asked. <laughs> uh, look, I kicked seven a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Once against the Premiers of Hawthorne uh, out of Waverley. Uh, one of my biggest regrets was though, I had 30 and kicked six down to Geelong. No brown Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah. So you have to just say, enjoy the game and uh, you know, don't worry about what happens as far as individual stuff. As long as we won, that was the most important. Thing. Brilliant. And just to frame what we're going to do today, let us know so we're going to do some Oz kick stuff, some junior football, some ideas for those kids out there that just want to get their hands on a footy. What are we going to do today? 100. percent I'm uh, I'm a phys ed teacher by uh, trade. So uh, when I went and played for Collingwood, I actually was a phys ed teacher at Scoresby High School, and then came back to uh, train at night time, just like we do here in uh, at Werribee. So. Uh, I'm uh, just making sure that uh, you know mums and dads can help their kids. The kids can just watch this themselves and do it, and it's uh, it's all pretty simple. And I try and make a simple English so you can understand exactly the technique. If you get the technique right, there's a fair chance you'll be able to play AFL football. Brilliant. And of course, what do you do with these balls? Where did these come from? Well, I invented these balls uh, with Sharon. Uh, we uh, made the Sharon Precision. It's got a, uh, a dot on the end, which is a, a sweet spot. But when you uh, kick it, it gives you inf instant information and confirmation that you kicked it well if the spin line spins directly at you. And, uh, you know, uh, 12 of the AFL clubs are using it. We at uh, Werribee use it all the time. We've got some fantastic results. So uh, I'm saying to you, get one. Right, hey guys, enjoy. We're going to go through all those skills and drills right now. So if you've got a pair, a partner, brilliant, do that, or else there's some really good opportunity just to do some stuff on your own. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic, thanks for having me here. Uh, we're going to start with uh, doing some skills with some uh, physical activity in between. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. Mick, first of all, uh, with the ball, I want you to start with the hand on the ball and I want you to just muck around with the ball and then I want you to put it down. So you're putting it down, so it's straight over your kicking knee uh, and you're really flexing your, uh, your wrist. So you've got a lot of control on the ball. Typically, kids don't spread their fingers enough, so make sure you've got a lot of control with your fingers on the ball. Okay, so let's muck around the body. Around, 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 now go down. That's right, throw the ball in the air, and put it right, and put it down. So I'm saying to all you kids, you've got a lot of time when you're sitting home watching uh, TV, sitting on your bums, play with the ball, and then put it in the right spot all the time. Again, okay, move around, move around, move around, put it down. Let's turn the ball over and back, over and back, over and back, and then push it down into the right spot. Fantastic, fantastic. Right, moving on from there, I want you to see if you can hit the ball in the right spot. And what we want to do is see if the ball will spin perfectly. And you see the ball spinning as it goes. It gives you perfect, uh, perfect uh, information as to whether it was a good kick or not. So what we're trying to do is spin the ball and see if it can spin nicely. I'm pretty good at this, Mark. Yeah. Come on. So I've got the pink and yellow ball. Is there any reason you chose this one for? Well, that, that was for the girls. Uh, we, we brought it out for the girls. It's a size four. It comes in size two, three, or four. Um, I invented these uh, Sharon Precisions, and if you if you want to get some, certainly uh, online at Sharon Precision. But uh, 
this is really important, and not to let the ball come over this side of your body or that side, it should come straight back at you. So uh, we'll see Nick do a couple in a row. Okay, when the coach is watching, I like to take it a bit more seriously. That one's inside. So again, there's got a sweet spot on the end. If you actually, when you go to kick the ball, really watch the cross or the sweet spot on the end, the ball will come up perfectly and that'll be, uh, that'll be good. Now just walk around and do it as you're walking. So you can do this inside with a little control. Obviously you don't want to hit mum's lights or anything like that, but being able to control the ball and make it perfect uh, is really important. Okay, another thing you need to do is this. So these you can buy at Kmart or you can make one yourself by uh, getting, a, uh, getting a hand drill drawing through a, an old tennis ball, getting a, a piece of string, putting it across a, a knot on the end of it, and poking it in, and it becomes something to see if we can actually hit the ball perfectly where, the, where you're, uh, you should connect the, with your foot. So we want to keep it, see if we can keep it without it going all over the place. So really, really watch the ball. Now, if it goes all over the place, that's okay. Stop, have it here, get it the right size, and then watch the ball as you're kicking it and make sure that it's not going like that, it's going like this, straight up in the air, watch the ball. Where are we going, Mick? Now, what you're noticing now is Mick's plant foot, the one on the ground here, you need to make sure that that adjusts a little bit. So don't just be stationary, adjust in between, adjust, 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 and that's where you get it pretty nice. Ooh. Okay, now as you see, there's a lot of, if the ball is hitting here and then it's hitting there, it's actually, uh, uh, the ball will go obviously off there and off there, so you want to be very, very precise on that. Um, I don't want you to do these all the time. If you can get, say, three or four in a row, that's great, and just build up and practice on that. Okay, that's enough, Nick. I was uh, just getting good at it. Yeah, it worked. Now, what we're going to do is uh, go to what I call kicking the bubble now. So we're going to do a little bit of kicking. Oh, are we in the game yet? Not yet. We're still warming up? Yeah. Good. Go over there in the corner. Is that about right? Yeah. Yes. So what we're trying to do is give me a whole lot of different varieties of things. So I'm just doing a few little warm up kicks. I want to see the ball spin perfectly, Mick. Just like mine is spinning towards you. Oh, yeah, you're uh... Probably a 6 out of 10 mark. No, that one's a 10 out of 10. Okay, that's very nice. Now what I want you to do is dance, dance your feet. So dance your feet, I want you to turn to the left. Now turn to the right, turn to the left, now kick. Got the left Perfect. mark mixed up there. Turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left, kick. Perfect. Okay, this time I want you so to go. So someone's doing this at home, on their own. On their own. And then just go to the left. And when they say kick, kick it yourself? Yeah, Perfect. you could kick it to yourself or you could hit a target. So you put a target on the wall, hit the target, and then go and yep. start again. So that's what you'd do. Um, but typically at home, the person up the other end doesn't need to be able to kick. All they need is to be able to catch it. So it could be anyone, your little uh, brother or sister, or your mum or dad, anyone can throw it back to you, as long as they give you different ideas. So this time I want you to go backwards, come forwards, go backwards, kick. Now, what I'm trying to do is muck him up. So I'm trying to get him to do other things, and then he has to kick. In the game of football, you don't just get the ball and the person standing there perfectly. You're coming from either a mark, a pick up off the ground, a tackle, or you're going backwards and all, oh, now you have to go forward. So keep thinking about why we're doing these things. Try to go backwards, go forwards, go back, kick. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, this time get on the ground. Stand up, kick. Good. Get on the ground. Stand up, kick. Perfect. Throw the ball in the air. Throw the ball in the air. Just like having a mark. Now kick. Very nice, very nice. Keep it going. Got it, got it going nicely now. Do it again. Kick. Okay, this one here, I want you to spin around in circles. Kick. Spin the other way. Kick. Good, go back a bit. I want you to bounce the ball twice where you are. Bounce it, bounce it, kick. 
when you're bouncing like that, your eyes are going down at the ball, and then you have to come up and look at me, and then come forward to, to, towards the kicker. So bounce it again, bounce it again, kick. Eyes on me, eyes on the ball. So we go from the target to the ball, always watching the end as you go to kick. Uh, last one, I want you to put the ball, uh, I want you to paddle the ball on the ground while you paddle around in circles, paddle around in circles, 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 pick it up, kick. Last thing is Mick does every time, 100% watching the ball down perfectly. That's enough. If you do that for 10 minutes every day, you'll become a leap kick, I promise you. I've been doing this for GWS, Port Adelaide, Richmond, uh, all the teams that I've been involved with. Werribee? And Werribee, 100%. Number one kick inside of the BFL, so uh, it does work. Get yourself a ball and practice.